Alpha, good morning. Good morning, teacher. Oh, good morning. Can I see your face? I'm here. Oh, hi. Good morning. Okay. Morning. Is it our first time, right? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, now um, let's introduce ourselves. Okay? Right. Okay, now so let me do first. Yeah, go first. <laughs> okay, so I'm Teacher Bell. I am 27 years old. How about you? I'm Kwang. I'm 15. Oh, you're 15 years old. Okay. Uh, by the way, um, what grade are you in? I'm moving to 10th grade this uh, September. Okay. Can you please wait for me uh, just one minute, okay? Right. Mm. Just be comfortable. Yes. I want you to feel uh, my computer is out of battery. Just wait for me, okay? Right. Yeah. Plug it in. Plug it in. Okay, I'm back. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, so, okay, so I want you to, to feel comfortable with me, all right? Yes. Okay, if you have a question, you don't hesitate to ask. Okay, do I talk too fast? No, not really. I can still, okay. I can still hear it. Okay, if I'm just sometimes I talk too fast or sometimes you can't hear me, just ask me, okay? What? Okay, so I want to know you more. All right, is that okay? Yes, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so um, what city do you live? May I know the city? I live in uh, Hanoi, capital, Vietnam. Oh, Hanoi, I see. So, I have students there, too. Oh, well, yeah, a lot, a lot of them are from Hanoi, like me, too. Already okay. saw, I already saw it on the Facebook page. Not really surprised. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, well, you're quite tall. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, 170 centimeters tall, tall. Okay, you can be a basketball player. <laughs> yeah, but I, I can't play it. <laughs> do, you, do you play sports? I only uh, I only cycle and go swimming. Oh, swimming. That's your sport? Well, my, yes. Uh, I, I'm more familiar with like, aquatic sport, aquatic sports. <laughs> I see. Okay. Now, all uh, right. So I want you to be comfortable in my class, and also, what do you expect in my class? Um, I I expect. What do I expect? Mm, I expect. Uh, I expect it to be fun, comfortable, and well, like that. Okay. In general, right. just comfortable and. We can interact with each other. Okay. So, what do you like? To, uh, what do you want to learn English? I know this. You're good already. Well, I already said this in my first lesson, but well, I <laughs> I want to have a higher job opportunity when I graduate from university, and maybe I will work. I want to work for. A television channel, television comedy too. So uh, I want to learn English just, just to be bilingual in two languages. Like it'll, it'll be more beneficial than knowing just one native language. Yes, yeah, you're right. It's more beneficial. You can also learn Japanese. <laughs> well, the, the the writing there is really complicated. Complicated. <laughs> yes, okay. But like, listen, cool. both. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> 
Yes, okay, so that's cool. All right. You're cooler than I think. Uh, do you have English you. name? Mm, English name? Mm. Well, when, when I was at my old English center, they called me Jack. Jack, uh, what do you like to call, what do you like? I, do, I, do I need to call you Jack or just Doi Kuang? Whatever you want, I'm comfortable. Okay, uh, I think I'm, I like Jack more. Right. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Uh, I'm still comfortable with it. Uh, it seems like you're a fun, a funny person. Well, yeah, I always try to be optimistic, class, as uh, well as in real life. Wow. Why do you mean? What do you mean, real life? Just like when we are, uh, like not only in class, but also. When being with my family and my friends, my teachers, school, yeah, always try to be happy. Although sometimes I feel kind of pessimistic. I'm kind of pessimistic. Just that during, uh, I've just had to, I've just had to go through the high school entrance exam. That is, con that is among the two most important exams in my country. It takes place in um, June. Yeah, and it also determines how your future will be like. Like when I, and when I, after the exam, I, I, I'm still very really pessimistic. Just like I don't, I'm not sure that whether I'll pass or not. Like I think of the worst, the worst situations. Like I cannot think of anything else better. And th thinking again, I feel like I was really weird and awkward at that time. But luckily I passed the exam. Wow, thanks, Scott. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> Our parents must be proud of you, right? Yeah. Like when 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 we knew my marks on July 8th, like when my family was like, oh yay! <laughs> Dancing, jumping, shouting all the way. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, if I'm your parent and your mom, I would be so proud. We would do that the same. Yeah, and my mom started to call to my relatives yeah, to oh, inform no. them about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can relate to that, Jack. Yeah, and just like going, hey, my son passed the exam. <laughs> hey, he got this mark. Oh, yay. Oh. Oh, yeah. hey, hello, my son passed the exam. <laughs> Like uh, calling all the relatives just to talk about yeah, my aunt, my uncle, and my cousins. Oh god, she called a lot. Like after I looked into her, her phone again, like there was like more than 100 calls. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, yeah, and this is my phone, this is not my mom's phone. She's okay. just keeping it. <laughs> yes, okay. So, are you ready for our class? Let's go. Okay, so here our class is Unit 2 about stories. Okay. Now we continue. Oh, speaking photo comparison. Yeah, the, Compare and contrast photos. Yeah, so we're going to compare and contrast photos. Okay, yes. this is our objective. This is your unit uh, map. You're done with that four. I, Oh, yeah. This is me. This is me and my mom. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, it's not yeah. so clear, but I think you're you're taller than your mom. This only. <laughs> yeah, I'm much taller than her now. Like this photo was taken in 2021. Last so, year. Yeah. Last year, yeah. New year last year. Ah, I see. Right, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're now in speaking photo comparison, okay? Yes. Okay, now here, can you what uh can you see the photo there in the screen? How many reasons can you think of for why people read brainstorm ideas? Okay, so how many yeah. reasons can you think of? For why yeah, let, let, let me get a draft first. Mm -hmm. mm, mm. 
for me, there are two general reasons. So the first one is they want to increase the knowledge about the outer world, just as well as the life in the past or so. Well, we we were both me and both me and you were born in the 21st century. Like we we don't we cannot know how people lived in 18th century, 20th century. Yeah, that's why we have to read books to find out more information. Like all of those past experiences were written are written in the book. So yeah, it is passed on to future generations. And second one is to improve themselves. Well, I clearly remember what my literature teacher when I was in secondary school said. She said that if you have a lack of, if you have a lack of, if you lack any of the personalities, then approach to uh, approach some books like it will help you improve or start to have that personality. Uh, like for for example, if you don't you don't really like helping people, but when you read books and there are stories about helping people and that yeah, you find it interesting and you start to develop like book set. Well, that's why. Okay, well, outstanding explanation, Jack. Okay, so these are, can you see that? Yeah, no, th there, are, there are many categories. Mm -hmm. These are the categories in the book. <laughs> and the purposes, the purposes as well. Information, relaxing, knowledge, mm, learning stories. Oh yeah, all of those things books can, can offer to us. Uh, do you like to read books, Jack? Well, I, I do, I do, of course. Under my desk, there are plenty of books over there. You all read it? Yeah. Uh, which you, well, which okay, is that's your favorite? Oh, I'm not sure what these are the books are there. And there are even more inside this shelf. But I can show it since my camera kind of goes into my Okay, thank you. So, which one is your favorite that you would like to read? Yeah, especially books about history. <laughs> ah, I see. You like history about Vietnam history, I guess. Yeah, Vietnam history, the USA's history, Southeast Asian history, all. Oh. oh, I see. Okay. That makes you super smart. Well, yeah, because all the subjects in school, it is like voca vocational subjects. It will okay. only offer you knowledge that about the job that you want to become in the future. But history is not really, a, it's not a separated subject. Everybody must know history. Otherwise, we will lose, uh, we will lose our roots. It's like we'll we'll lose our roots. Yes. Yeah, so we'll forget about your our ancestors. Forget about what the what our ancestors and forefathers did for us. Well, that's terrible. Okay, that's great. Okay, good job for that. Okay, let's go to task two. Come back with a lesson B. Say what people might be reading and how they might be fearing. Oh. Okay, so I'm starting to have my answer right now. Picture A. They are reading news, newspaper. Oh, in the chat. I thought in the box. Sorry. Okay, so box? picture A. Uh, this is a chat box. 
Yeah, here notes here. Can you write the? Can you see the notes here? I'm expecting. Yeah, I can of course. <laughs> I can see the screen, and I can even see the chat box. This is all on my screen. Uh, okay. All right. So picture i I'm gonna. I'm going to read it. Okay. They're reading newspaper and seems and seems to be really concentrated and concerned about life around. Uh, you mean the world, right? The world. Well. Oh yes, my unique. <laughs> okay. They are uh, picture B. They are reading a map to find directions and. Wait a minute. I can't read it. Direction. Where. <laughs> Uh, uh directions and them look and they are they look excited okay excited yeah what do you think no. they look excited excited i think they're going on a they're going on a trip and they are looking into the map with enthusiasm with excitement about their trip yeah that's why i think so i look into their face the face gestures they're looking at their faces i see yeah, because the question asks how they might be feeling. Well, we can only we can look into their faces. Yes, the expressions. Very good. Yes, okay. faces. They're on photo A. How about in photo A? Yeah, it, it's okay. I just don't mind. It's my grandparents. And today, today, today is my great grandparents' death anniversary, so my relatives are coming. Hi. Well, so that might be really noisy, but okay, just don't care about it. Okay, that's okay to me. Because you're very responsive, that's okay to me. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Jack, what do you think of the feeling of these people? What is my feeling think, about those people? Yeah, yeah, so what they feeling? How might they, how they might be feeling? How they might they? be feeling? Yes, what do they? They're very, mm. they're so serious. Yeah, serious. Yeah, <laughs> like their their faces. They even, well, they didn't. They don't even put a smile. They don't even. Uh, they don't even smile. It's hard they, they to just like, protect their expressions, right? We don't know if they're they're angry or they're happy or something else. They seem normal, like they just maybe they just reading a newspaper, and they they think in they they think in it. They only think in their mind. They don't express it out. Okay, put a. What do you think of them, business people? Um, business people, uh, politicians. Politicians. Uh, bloggers. bloggers. Social bloggers. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I got it, bloggers. Okay, how about little uh for the bee? Mm, I think they are explorers. Ah, exploring. They're exploring. Uh yeah. what do you think? Where are they? I think they are there inside a forest, forest? north. Of, yeah, the, the leaves are very yellow. Yeah. I think it's a forest, right? Forest, yeah. It's like they're uh, okay. It, yeah, I agree. Now let's go to learn this. Speculating. Can you please read one, two, three? We can use must have, can't have, might have. We use look, seem, appears, etc. with an adjective. I've just used it. Yeah. We, yeah. We use look like, plus noun, and look as if a cost. Okay. Plus a like, cost. We're predicting about someone's feeling. <laughs> Speculate. Yeah, when we say speculate, it's like to form a theory without uh, prior evidence, okay? A firm evidence that is speculating. Like looking at the photo, we don't know what is it really. We're just speculating. Yeah, because, for example, when we go to class and we see someone seems really sleepy, and we might say that she might have not been sleep. She might have not slept last, last night. Well, yeah, speculate. Yeah, right. Okay. So, do you have questions about one, two, three? No. Okay. So, uh, it's okay. Okay. Do you know this, what this means? ETC. Etc. It's called etc. Et right. Is that right? Yes. Okay. All I right. smell food. Oh, yeah. Wow, they... you're angry already. No, I'm like, I smell food. 
So maybe, maybe yeah. Do. Yeah, of course. My parents are cooking in, uh, inside the kitchen. What and I'm very think? close to it. Uh, can you please speculate what are they cooking? Mm, the uh, looks like they're cooking spring rolls. Wow. You, you can smell it? Yeah, I, I smell mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you can smell mushrooms? Yeah. Wow, I can't smell mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got you've got the smell. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So here, think of examples of speculations about the photos to illustrate each photo of the one to three points. Okay. Okay. So the first picture. They, they appears to be some businessmen or politicians and they might have and they might and they might have been reading newspapers about the situation around the world the second picture it looks like looks like they are explorers it looks as if they are exploring a forest and looking at the map of the zone they're exploring Okay, that's it? That's it. Okay, very good. Okay, that's super cool. Okay, all right. So here, let's go to task for already. Okay? Yes. Okay, do you want to explore things? Explore? Yes. Well, uh, yeah, I do. I don't like staying in just one place. Mm. It's like when I, go, when I go cycling, when I go cycling, Every early morning, I usually go different routes. I, I don't usually, I don't go in a certain, go on a certain route. Oh. Yeah. Today I go this way. Every, go every way. morning you cycling? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Then it is, it is in summer or when I have day offs. When, when I have school, then I might have to change it to afternoon, late afternoon. Yeah. But, uh, because of your schedule, right? Yeah, need to talk, need to fix my schedule so that it can be tolerant with my school schedules and my outside schedule. You're in grade 10, right? Yeah, I'm moving to it. I'll be in grade 10 this September. This September, yes, you're right, this September. Okay, let's start. Yes. So this is the listening part. It is the unit two D. Where is unit two D? Can you see the screen? Yeah, I, I can see it. Okay, so this is a task two. Uh, listen to a student doing the task in task two. Can you still remember the two photos? Which structures from the learn this box? does the student use? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, if you want me to pause the audio, tell me, okay? All right, put it in play. G, exercises three and five. The most obvious similarity between the photos is that they both show people reading. Um, in the first photo, there are a number of people standing close together and they are all reading newspapers. They look like business people. I think they might be on a packed train in the rush hour. They are all wearing suits or formal work clothes, which is another reason why I suspect they are on a commuter train on their way to or from work. Um, I wonder if what they are reading is connected with their work. If they're business people or work in financial services, they may well be reading the papers to catch up on the latest business or financial news. They might enjoy reading the paper, but the circumstances in which they are reading on a crowded train are not very pleasant. So I imagine they're feeling a bit tired and stressed. 
the clearest difference between the photos is that the people in the second photo are outdoors and whereas the people in the first photo are adults, the people in the second photo look like teenagers and are dressed in casual clothes. They must be going camping because they are carrying rucksacks and one of them is holding a sleeping bag. My initial impression is that they're in quite a remote area, in a forest or wood. It looks as if they are reading a map. The boy on the left appears to be pointing at the map, maybe at their location or the route they need to take. My best guess would be that they are on some sort of challenge or trek. It's possible that they are lost, but they don't look particularly worried, so it's more likely that they're planning a route. Anyway, it's not entirely clear what's going on. Okay, it's done. Cleaning. Oh, wow. Ready to write this? Yeah. Really? You're fast. I did it while I was listening. Oh, you're fast. You're a fast typer. Actually, I just type with two fingers. Well, oh, really? <laughs> Is that true? Yes, 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 yes. That's true. <laughs> I'm not lying, I'm not lying. Oh, okay, you do this, two finger. This, one. this yeah, I, I use this instead. Those middle, those, uh, this one, this one. Oh, this one. One. Yeah. <laughs> You're really fast. Okay, let me see. I think they might be on a pack. Okay, might. You're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at your answer. They look like uh, business people. Where is it? What number is it? Number? They look uh, like number three. Three, three. I think they might be on the plane. I think they might be on the back train in a rush hour. Okay, wow. Next. Let me check again. Number one. Can you hear my grandparents speaking inside? Yeah, I can hear them, but it's too little. It's not so loud. What are okay. they talking about? May I know? American politics. <laughs> America. <laughs> I see. So you've got the. That's why. That's why you talk like that because people around you are uh, the same and the rest. Yeah. Well, my, my grandparents, my granddad is saying that the politics in America has gone down a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone really messy. And, Who is yeah. the new president, right? Who is the new, I forgot the name of it. Person. Yeah. Uh, Biden. And some, Biden. Somehow corrupted. <laughs> uh, they might be reading. Very good. That's correct. They might enjoy enjoy reading the paper. Okay. The people in the second photo like look like children. They basically look like children. Actually, teenagers. The teenagers are still children. Yeah. They passed it. Uh, did you already uh, study this lesson? Um, I just looked over through it and I, I played the audio myself. Yeah. They look business people. But not, 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 not so, not so, not really specific. Not, I didn't look at it. I just overlooked it. I didn't see carefully in it because I want to make the lesson natural. Yes, they must be going. Oh, that's a great. But just like for example, when I before the next when I go to school before the next day of school, I usually read. Study. Uh, yeah, I usually read. I Study usually in advance. Overlook the lessons of the next day in advance, so that uh, it'll be easier to me to understand 
and check it on what the teachers say. Yeah, you must be the smart, smartest student to have, the school have. Am I right? Uh, yeah, you're somehow right. Yes. I'm in the top five, uh, I'm in the top five high school students during the last exam. Very nice. Well, uh, I'm on, I'm on the third, third rank. Yeah. Really? Third rank? A, third rank. I saw number one. Not really. Because there's someone, there's always someone better than you. Yeah. This, I, I, I'm just glad that I got in the top rank. But I think you're the coolest. You're Thank you so much. You're approachable. Yeah. They must be going camping. What is it? Number one. They must be going camping because they're carrying rocks. Very good. Okay, let's continue to. It looks as if they're reading a map. Very good. But they don't look particularly particularly worried. Number two. Okay, wow, that is great. Perfect. Okay, now let's go to a transcript now. Are you ready to read? I'm ready. Okay. Well, I adore reading, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I just want to hear. This is, the, this is only a paragraph. It's not like my books. Yeah, there are hundreds of paragraphs inside a book, you know. <laughs> okay, transcript. The most obvious sim similarity between the photos is that they both show people reading. In the first photo, there are a number of people standing close together and they are all reading newspapers. They look like business people. I think they might be on a packed train in the rush hour. They are all wearing suits or formal work clothes, which is another reason why I suspect they are on a commuter train on the way to or from work. I wonder if what they are reading is connected to their work. If they're business people or work in financial services, they, well, they may well be reading the papers to catch up on the latest business or financial news. They might enjoy reading the paper, but the circumstances in which they're reading on a crowded train are not very present, pleasant. So I, so I imagine they're feeling a bit tired and stressed. The clearest difference between photos is that the people in the second photo are outdoors. And whereas the people in the first photo are outdoors, the people in the second photo look like teenagers and are dressed in casual clothes. They must be going camping because they're carrying rucksacks and one of them is holding a sleeping bag. My initial impression is that they are in a quite remote area, in a forest or wood. It looks as if they are reading a map. The boy on the left appears to be pointing at the map. Maybe at their location or the route they need to take. My best guess would be that they're on some sort of challenge or trek. It's possible that they're lost, but they don't look particularly particularly worried. So it's more likely that they're planning a route. Anyways, it's not entirely clear what's going on. Okay, thank you for reading. It's great. Okay, thank you for that, Jack. Now, do you have questions about this transcript? No, it's all right to me. Okay. All right. So, um, it's in my head. I'm just so curious. May I ask something? Can I ask? Yes. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay. I want to see your full face. Oh, there. Thank you. Okay. So, what do you mean by Facebook lately? Yeah, I, I do have Facebook. Do you have and... Facebook and? I have Facebook. Uh, only, uh, I think that's the only one. I don't use Twitter or Instagram. Oh, you only have Facebook uh, Facebook and Zalo account. Yes. Ah, oh, I see. Only I need have... two of those. Oh, me too. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're the same. Do you have a Filipino friend or a Filipino teacher? Oh, Philippines. Well, for, I have a you as a Philippine teacher, and I have a, Philip, a Filipino friend named Benedict, but he moved, uh, he, he moved to the southern region, 
last year. In an in <laughs> he's a teacher. No, well, can, can, can you say it again? Is he a teacher? No, he's my friend. Ah, uh, my colleague. Benedict, yours, yeah. Benedict, yeah, Ben Benedict. Ah, Benedict. He moved to yeah, he moved to Ho Chi Minh City, which is in the south. So we we cannot see each other. Oh, yeah. he, he he was with me until we finished grade eight. Then grade nine, we moved, he moved to Ho Chi Minh, and oh, he's so been staying know there. Some Filipino words, like our language. Filipino. Do you know uh, Tagalog? Mabuhay, mabuhay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> That's all. Only mabuhay. Uh, Maya, 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 Maya. <laughs> uh, he told you that? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. So is Benedict a, a bit part, part Vietnamese, part Filipino? He's, in, he's entirely Philippines. Ah. But so he studies with me in a public school. Uh, so I think his, uh, his parents might be working in Vietnam. Yeah, they are working here, and maybe they they move because their grand his grandpa his parents gets uh, another get other jobs in the southern I think. I see. Okay, you must miss him. Yeah, like I haven't seen him for months. For months, but you've contact through phone, text, or yes. chat. Yes. Okay. Oh, thank you for answering, Jack. Okay, so Jack, let's go to comparing and contrasting photos. Now, these are the phrases in comparing and contrasting photos. Can you please read number one? The most obvious similarity between photo is blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Things. The, pho the photos, they miss one O, but they fought the fox. The photos are similar uh, yeah. in that blah blah blah. What the photo have in common is blah blah blah. The clearest <laughs> difference between the photo is blah blah blah. blah. In contrast <laughs> to photo, photo two depicts blah blah blah. Photo one shows blah blah blah. On the on the other hand, photos two photos two show blah blah blah. In photo one blah blah blah. What wears in photo two blah blah blah. Okay, so it's obvious that. Here, number one is comparing similarities, right? Yes. There's two similarities. One to three similarities. Here, the difference, contrasting, and also, like, this is contrasting. This is by comparing similarities, okay? Uh, is it clear yes. to you now, John? Uh, sorry, Jack. Let me yes. write your name. Uh, wait a minute. Let me write your name. Uh, can I rename your instead of Doi Kwang? Can I rename it as Jack? Well, yeah, I can do it myself. Okay, so boom. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you. All right. You're a funny, you're so funny, Jack. I like your attitude. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You've got a positive attitude, positive vibe. Yeah. Okay. okay. But, I, I, but I, I have to be funny in the correct time. Like <laughs> when, whenever I talk about a serious problem or when I be, when I am at a quiet place, I cannot be too funny. Yeah. yeah, I have to keep my limits. <laughs> yeah, everything has limits, right? Yes. Okay, do you have questions about comparing contrasting photos? Contrasting photos. Comparing and contrasting. The phrases. We use this in comparing. Uses in comparing photos. Clearest difference between the photo is interest. Yes. Okay, can you repeat it again? 
I'm oh, sorry. I was okay. the frozen for one moment. <laughs> okay, is it is it about my internet? Is my am I lagging? My headphones instead. Oh, I see. So we use this to these phrases to compare and contrast photos, okay? Yes. Okay, can you please take a screenshot of this chat? Yes. Okay, you're gonna need it next. Uh, you're gonna need it because this will be your homework. Is that okay? Mm. Yeah, let me see if I can think of it or not. But the, this is just the, this is just knowledge. It's not any like activity or anything. Yes, it's not activity. It's just you need it for your homework, okay? It's not uh, totally your homework. You just need it for your homework, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I just hope that we can finish all the work in class because I have extra classes outside too. It's not only oh. this. It's not only well, this. And, yeah, so you prefer, there's no... Yeah, weekend. this is my math. My math is fast. Oh, uh, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah, two thick notebook and then oh. my english uh, my my grand that's only my one subject not only one uh, but two but english and math yeah although the, it would be nothing if i say that there i only have three days going to extra classes but they give a lot of homework too oh my god so gosh. i'm kind of okay. my, my my summer is not really comfortable and relaxing <laughs> that yeah, sucks yeah. <laughs> that's okay uh, okay so, so yeah so i wonder so that's why I, yeah i want to finish the work in the class this, this is also me in real life i usually uh, in break camps i at school i usually uh, i usually save time to do some work do some homework for instance so i don't have much working. at home yeah, yeah. Great. Just like when the, the uh, break time is 15 minutes and I might spend like five, spend 10 minutes doing the homework for in, in advance and only two or five, last five minutes I spend to hang out with my friends. Oh, so you prefer studying than hang out to your friends? Uh, I like both, but uh, I just don't, I, I just don't want to reduce the amount of homework so yeah that's why i do it You're very responsible that's the best thing yeah this responsibility is, is always first yeah that's the best thing wow kind of adore you now <laughs> okay it's very rare for a student okay so are you ready to compare and contrast photos yes mm -hmm. Mm, but you can use uh, the phrases to compare. The chat box, the okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I won't give you any homeworks, right? Oh, uh, can you repeat it? I won't give you any homeworks, right? It would be good if you do so. <laughs> okay. You're very advanced too. Oh, I, this, is the, this is the English one. This is the grammar. This is grammar one. Uh, I learn listening and and speaking in this in this class with you, but I learn grammar in somewhere else. This is my worksheet. Contains of two that's sheets grammar? of papers. Yes, that's grammar. What is it about? It's gra it's just gra it's just grammar like tenses. Ah, the past tense, idioms, simple yeah. tense, just like that. And simple grammar. Am yeah, I right? And and that class forced me to write all of the information in the worksheets inside this notebook. And you, you can see no. boom, 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 boom. That's a lot. All the activities. All of them. Look. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh, there we go. Amazing. Oh. Amazing, that's a lot. And you're finished? Yeah, uh, I almost I done. All of the ah. in this worksheet, but I still have a long text to translate. 
translate. What do you mean translate? Translate. You need to translate? Yeah, from English to Vietnamese. And oh. that's long. It sucks. It's yeah, hard. okay, there. You can see it. Like there, there's the trend. There, here's the translation. Yeah, there. It's very long. Sorry, it can takes up like little. three pages. Amazing. 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 I'm ah, sorry. One sentence in Vietnamese translation, it can be two to three sentences. Yes. Mm, okay. okay. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Now our time is already over. We'll continue it next time. Okay. okay? So, well, I, I, I'm going to try to do this one as the last task. Oh, Just sure. give me time. Okay. I can okay. finish it in five minutes. Sure. Go ahead. I doubt. <laughs> Are you right? Can you put say instead of writing? Oh, okay. Oh, why? Why? I don't think of it. I mean, because not normally. Uh, because, right. Because normally the teachers ask me to write. Uh, because it's I don't speaking. think of speaking too much, but okay. If you allow me to speak, then I'll. Then I'll go. It's out of the most obvious similarity between the photo is the in the working circumstances of the two people the photos are similar in the way that they are already they are workers they are workers but the clearest difference is the woman in picture c is like working in an office she's focusing on worksheets and diaries whereas the man in picture d works like as like a builder or a, a repairer. Like he has special tools with him, such as the hammer, the nails, and I think that, that's all for the difference. He might be an engineer, right? Yeah, he might be an engineer. Okay. He has hammer and the uh, and nails and screwdrivers. Screwdrivers, like this thing. Yes, use it to. Okay, you got it. <laughs> okay, continue. That's it. That's your answer. Yes. Okay, yeah. spectacular. Thank you. Yay. Okay, you're so amazing in this class, as I expected. More than I expected. Okay, mm -hmm. so stay smart. Oh no, stay clever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I try to keep my best. Yeah. In the weekends, uh, my family is uh, is going to food hall. Yeah, like we we're going outside. Uh weekend. So we've got class uh Saturday. Let me check our schedule. Saturday week Saturday 4 p.m. We've got so you're absent. Am I right? Uh I'm uh, your internet connection is unstable. What the heck? What happened to my internet? Okay, <laughs> fix it. <laughs> I, I might, I might be there. I might be that time. Well, let's see if I can get back in time. Just message me earlier, okay? Yes, okay. Well, nice. What's... Nice meeting you, Jack. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Goodbye. Bye, teacher Bell. <laughs>